What's up everybody? This footage I have is from January 5th of 2023. It's a long time ago. I've just been sitting in my Google Photos. Uh, so I downloaded them and put them together. So with every day that passes, we learn more and new things. But I was really learning back then. And doing this kind of stuff every day, just being out there and doing it, is how I learn stuff. Oil fail. Oil fail. Compressor 6 is the one they're calling in about. All the other ones, I guess, don't matter, so... That's going to be... See these red lights? Those are all oil fills, but the one that they're complaining about right now is this one, which is compressor 6. See, it says 6, but up here it says 5, but they got 6 right there. So this is the oil stuff right here. The oil management system, the sensor, and if oil doesn't flow through it, like, like this one's working, so if we don't have oil flowing, it's gonna alarm and shut off. So, come over here. I gotta take this panel off here and reset it. So, this is what we got in here. These are the compressor modules. Number six. It's an alarm. A red light right there. So. We. We said it. This is the Microtherm compressor controller. And when it's alarming, you'll see this alarm light right here. You reset it by having something pointy and pushing this little button. And this is the manual switch right here. It goes from auto to off to manual on. And then, light goes off. And it's gonna come back on here in a second. In the meantime, let's see if I can find a light switch up here, because it's freaking dark, yo. There. Now I can see. Alright, it's on now. We got oil. I don't know why it failed. Maybe the sensor is dirty, screen could be dirty. A couple different things can cause that. Now, I know that number 10 has an issue, but I don't know why number 11 and number 12 are out. So let's reset all of them, huh? Bam, bam, bam. There, now they're all reset. I'm pretty sure that 10 is gonna alarm back out. But let's see if uh, number 11 and number 12 work. Okay, so I talked to my lead and he says, see, I thought it was the oil filter that needs to be replaced. But he says that it's not. The dairy cooler is, is causing flood back. And, and you can tell because we've got ice right here on compressors number 13, number 12 and 13, that the dairy cooler is, is uh, freezing one of the evaporators in there and that's what's causing uh, this to happen. He says that they might go off again, but we got somebody else gonna be here tomorrow to, to address that, so. 
said to just watch it for about an hour total. I'm sorry, I've been running for like 15, 20 minutes. And then uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do within that hour, but uh, like if it goes off again, I reset it. It's gonna work either way because we got other compressors that are running on it. So hang out for a little bit and then call it a date. We've got no alarms. Everything is still running, so I'm done. Yeah, just got my tools and uh, get out of here. All right, you guys, thank you for watching this old video that I just put together for you guys from some old footage I had that's 15 months old. So, just something I had. So, if y'all like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, go ahead and like and subscribe, man. I appreciate it if you do. And it'll help get it out to others who want to see it. And it'll help me out a lot too. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support.